I found this Gremlins calendar at Walmart, and I guess you can use it for Halloween or Christmas? I mean, it advertises 31 days of Gremlin surprises. So it's a countdown calendar with 31 mini collectibles. That sounds like my jam. I mean, I love Gremlins, I love collectibles. Consider my interest peaked. So let's take a look at this bad boy and see exactly why these Gremlins are on the loose and what this looks like. When opened, the calendar is modeled after the movie theater scene in the original Gremlins film. It has some good detail so this cardboard can be used for recreating that scene. As you can see, you can pull up the chairs. So that's pretty neat. It's kind of like a usable diorama. The screen represents the calendar and it cleverly has each day designated with the Gremlin surprise. All you gotta do is pop them open. So let's take a look at some of these. What could they possibly be? But you can also slide these collectibles out of the packaging without damaging the screen. And just looking at this, it is much cooler than I anticipated, with a good mixture of different gremlins from both the first and the second movie. But let's take a closer look. The calendar comes with three slime packets, two Mogwai furballs, and two gremlin cocoons. It comes with a total of nine mini Mogwai figures, three gizmos, a Rambo, Standard, and Christmas variants, two stripes from Gremlins 1, one holding a chicken leg, and lastly, all four Mogwai from the new batch. We have Energetic Daffy, Grumpy George, Goofy Lenny, and Scary Mohawk. And then we've got 16 little Gremlin collectibles. Three green ones, two brown ones, a 3D glasses Gremlin, popcorn ears, the Phantom of the Opera, the electric one, Greta, Santa Gremlin, Stripe, and then Daffy, Mohawk, Lenny, and George that are the Gremlin variants of the original Mogwai. But even cooler yet, the calendar comes with two Gremlin skeletons where you can actually drop the goo on them and it looks so fucking disgusting. It's awesome. Overall, Jack Pacific created a fun Christmas calendar that has both flash and substance. I'm impressed by the quality and selection of these collectibles. My only gripe is that some specific Gremlins were left out. I wish they had given us a Brain Gremlin from the new batch or the Flasher Gremlin that was in both movies. But that's just a small nitpick. Overall, it's still very cool, and I actually picked up some additional calendars so I can increase my Gremlin collection. There's nothing cooler than having a pocket full of mini Gremlins.